get started with our first feature that we'll talk about, which is drag and drop. Drag and drop is really an impressive feature because what it's able to do is allow, it, it allows us to have uh, multiple windows open uh, that we can bring content into iClone with. So I'm just gonna resize my window here a bit. And then we can go to um, a, a map window that I have open. So typically we'll have textures, you know, you've got textures on your machine, you've got a folder of images, videos, or whatever that you might use when you're doing construction. Now, whenever you were doing this before, you would have to go to your modify panel, find the diffuse map, find the opacity map, whatever it is to assign a texture. Now, things have become a little bit easier. So what we can do is we can select a texture, and there's a few different things we can do with it. Um, first thing I can do is I can hold uh, control, and then I can click the left mouse button, and I can drag that to the scene, right? Now it's automatically gonna be right inside our preview window. Now when I let this go, it has actually created a 3D iteration of that texture. So it creates not just a 2D plane, but this plane also has um, the ability for us to see that it's it's actually got depth to it as well. So it's, it's really a full box that you can add to the scene there and uh, see that. So just like that. See. And we'll reset the size. Now, so just dragging an image directly into iClone will automatically res up a 3D object based on that. So we can go ahead and drag another image if we want, if we want to get another um, iteration of that to the scene, and it's going to snap to the end of the last one that we just did. So you can imagine that now I'm just going to go ahead and build, build up some scene here. So I can build a fence real easy now just with an image. That's all I need. I don't need, I haven't touched a single modify control, I haven't touched a panel, I haven't textured anything, I've just simply brought that out all in. Make a nice little hole for us to get through our fence here. <laughs> And so that builds up a scene for us, or it gets started too. But there's more to that. Now if we tilt the camera just a little bit, we get a little different perspective on um, our actual scene here. Then what we can do is we can go find something that would be more fitting, say, for a ground texture. So we'll just scroll down here and maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do just like some stone path, okay? Or what are those? those are kind of wood planks, I guess. We'll go with the stones. So I can get the stones here, grab those, bring those in. Now, because I've adjusted my camera angle, now it's gonna drop it to the floor. So now we go from a wall-based object to a floor-based object. So it's very simple now if we want uh, to take these textures, and I'm using the total textures that are the textures that I'm using here. Um, we can take those, drop those into the scene, um, and then align them. So I'm going to go back to building up my scene here. There's another thing that we can do um, with textures and dragging and dropping to the scene. And that is that uh, you're familiar with the image layer, right? Uh, the previous image layer. Well, that has matured as well. So now the image layer becomes more than just um, what it's been before as a single layer that you know, would, would be composited over your scene. Now, what we can do is we can start by dragging and dropping an image directly to the scene, and I'm just gonna go get uh, maybe a sky back here. And then once we've got that, um, we can just drag and drop that onto the scene very easily for us to add to the, to the background. So I'll just drag and drop that. Now I'm not control clicking this time, I'm just clicking dragging and dropping, and then that gets added, I'll turn off my grid, control G for the hotkey on that. Okay, so now that adds, that one's kind of hard to see because of the projector, let me add a different one. That adds a, uh, an image to the background layer there for us to use, so let me add this one. There we go. So now we, we drag an image directly to the background. So um, again, we haven't touched any modeling yet, we're just dragging and dropping images to the scene in order to lay everything out. The 2D layer, though, that um, is here, not only can be an image, but it can also be video. Uh, video textures is something that's completely new inside iClone now as well, so we'll show you how that also works. Um, with different objects, we'll say like 
the objects that we have here. We can drag and drop any of our assets. I'll just go and grab something quickly. And we'll kind of loop back around and talk to some of these features as they're beginning to converge also. So I'm just going to go to my videos folder here. grab a scene from Sprog. Okay, so we'll grab that. And so this is like an 89 megabyte WMV file is what this is. And I'm gonna drag and drop this. I'm gonna put it right on that texture. Okay, so now it's just gonna drop right on that. Now if I hit uh, the playhead and start playing, real time video inside iPhone, automatically previews. Does not cause any kind of degradation at all in the playback or your frame rate because it's actually referencing the video from an external link coming into iCloud. So now it's going to be able to play that and I can go ahead and zoom in and take a look at it real time as we're doing it. 